Welcome to another episode of Mexican the Kitchen. These are the ingredients I'm going to use for this recipe. Tequila is an option. Most people will make this without the alcohol, but this is very close to what a margarita would be. So if you want to have one or two shots of tequila, completely up to you. First thing we need to do is to get our mango pulp. For this, some people do it different ways. Uh, some people just peel the mango and then take the pulp. Some people cut it and then take the pulp. So I'm going to do it in two different ways and you can do it however you prefer. It's important that you choose some ripe mangoes. We want to get the sweetness from them. But if you prefer a bit more green ones, I prefer to use those as decoration. So in this case, I'm going to use the one that's a bit more ripe into my mix. And then I'm going to cut a few pieces from my green mango which is a bit more acid and have it on the side. Now we can go to our blender and we can start by adding some ice. The amount of ice I'm going to use is roughly the amount of mango I will add. It most likely won't be enough, but we can adjust later. Then I will throw the mango in. And in this case, I'm going to set aside a couple of pieces of the more green mango. And I will have that as a creation and just to have something to chew. But I'm going to use most of the mango here. Of course, you could also uh, buy an extra mango, cut it into cubes and have it so you have something more like bites into it. It's completely up to you. I have squeezed my limes and I'm going to add about a shot glass or four centiliters of lime juice. Now I'm going to splash some mango juice. I usually buy the thick one. Here they don't have only mango, so I use mango and apple. You can also use orange or pineapple, whatever you prefer, you can mix them but I'm adding about two to three deciliters. You can also adjust later. Now, this is completely optional, but I'm adding a shot of tequila. In case you want it a bit more strong, because of the amounts, you could also add a second one, but I find it one shot gives it quite a mild taste and it's really nice. Now we're ready. We're going to set the lid on and start blending. How long this process takes completely depends on your blender but we want our mango to get blend completely and we want our eyes to get crushed. Right now, I'm going to check how liquid this is and I can tell you this is not as thick as I would like it to be. This is just like a nice cocktail. If you would add a shot of control here, you would make a really nice mango margarita, but we want to make it kind of like a slushy. So I'm just going to add more ice and continue blending. I almost doubled the amount of ice, but I really want it to be like a slushy, so in case you use a bit too much ice and you think this is a bit watered down, you can always add a bit more juice and keep balancing the flavors. I don't know if you can tell, but this is quite thick. It's really nice at this moment. This is exactly what we were going for. So we can set it aside, prepare our glasses and continue. Up to now, we have a delicious mango slushy, but if we want a mango nada, we need chamoy. Chamoy is a Mexican sauce made with fruits, vinegar, it's sweet, salty, sour, spicy. It's really nice. It's very hard to describe, but you have to try it. We are going to set some on a plate. On the other plate, I'm going to add some chili powder. My favorite one is tahin, which is a bit of chili. It has salt, it has lime. It's really nice. But you could also go for Miguelito if you can find it. Miguelito is more on the sweet side, completely up to you. Once we have both of our plates ready, I'm going to take my glass, put it first on the sauce. I'm going to just roll it in there, try to make a perfect rim on my glass, and then I'm going to cover it with the chili. You will see this in many drinks. You will see it in micheladas. You will see it in a chelada. You will see it on margaritas, for example, with the salt. It's a very common technique. For some people, if they're not too much into the Mexican flavors, this might be perfect because they will only get a bit of a kick every time they drink, a bit of spiciness, but for us, that's not really enough. I'm going to take some chamoy and I'm going to just put it into the glass. And I don't wanna go too crazy, but I'm going to spin the glass around, make sure it makes a bit of a pattern. You can play with it. If you are more creative, more artsy, you could even make some patterns. I've seen some people do that kind of thing. And after that, I'm going to throw also some chili powder in there Try to make the chili powder stick to the sides. So then if you are using a straw 
or a spoon to eat your mango nava, then you will get a bit of that every time you drink it. Chamoy and tajin chili powder might not be the easiest thing to find outside of Mexico, but I get mine if you live in Finland from Las Tunas Dorify. If you live somewhere else, I recommend that you search for a Mexican store, Mexican local market, I'm sure there's something nearby. We are ready now and we can start serving our drinks. In this case, you will notice how it starts mixing nicely, the colors are beautiful, it's bright yellow, you have the red, you will get a bit of the sweetness of the fruit, the juice, you'll get a bit of a kick from the chili, sweet, sourness, everything is just a lot of flavor. I will still add some drops of chamoy on top and a bit of chili powder. This is completely up to you. Remember, if you just want to have the rim with the spiciness, you can do that. If you want to add more in between, just go for it. Now I am adding this candy as well. This is completely optional, but this is tamarind on a straw. So basically, if you buy the tip, then you can use the candy as a straw for your drink. I think it's really nice. It, tamarind goes really well with these flavors. Last thing I will do is add a piece of mango there, just for decoration and to have something to snack on. Of course, if you want to chop half a mango, throw it in there, make more of a snack that you will eat with a spoon, you can also do that and it's perfectly fine. This is how I make these mangonadas. I think they're really nice. You can, of course, if you don't like the chili and the chamoy, because it's a very Mexican flavor, it takes a while to get used to it. If you don't like it, you can just skip them, make these as a bit of a mango margarita kind of thing. It's really nice, especially on these summer days that you need something fresh, something sweet. This is not crazy sweet. Some people might uh, even add some sugar to this. I don't think it needs, because the juice is quite sweet. The mango was quite sweet. So for me, the balance of flavors in this thing is perfect. You can, of course, modify the recipe. Some people will not use the mango juice. They will use maybe some orange juice. In this case, I use the mango apple. You can also use only mango. You can switch it for any other kind of juice you like and just play with the flavors. You can make this with, for example, pineapple, but I think the mango is the most typical one. And it's something that's summery. It's like this tropical fruit, really sweet, really nice. It's a great cocktail if you choose to add the tequila. If not, it's a really nice treat, just like a sweet for the summer. So I hope you liked the video, try it at home. Press like, subscribe, activate the bell, share it with your friends, write any comments or questions below, and see you in the next one.